The Citadel is the centre of the civilised galaxy in Mass Effect, the Council presiding over the affiliated races and setting the law of the land. Alongside the numerous infantry, naval and intelligence branches that protect Citadel space, there are those who serve to protect the people of the Citadel station itself, the Citadel Security, usually abbreviated to CSEC. The security forces cover a wide range of functions, from patrols to dealing with cybercrime, and are made up of representatives of the Citadel species. The formation of CSEC was originally suggested by the Turians around 900 CE, many years after the creation of the Council. They brought their military expertise to the Council and founded the organisation. As of Mass Effect 1, at least 1,200 years later, half of the security force remains Turian. CSEC headquarters is located on the Presidium section of the station and houses the primary offices for coordination of CSEC activities. Near to this lies the Academy, the training institute for all CSEC personnel. Despite being an academy, the site is very much an active hub of enforcement and capable of responding to a wide variety of incidents. The offices of the Academy reside on the lower Presidium ring and provide direct access to the wards, with elevators bisecting the courtyard of the Academy. Each of the five wards, as well as the Presidium, has numerous outpost stations from which local CSEC officers operate, and each of the docks house a similar outpost, through which all incoming and outgoing individuals must pass. Overall, there are around 200,000 constables within CSEC. Humans, being the newest species to join the Citadel, make up the smallest percentage of recruits, with none of Captain rank or higher until after the Battle of the Citadel, during the Geth invasion where humanity adopted higher positions of power across the board for its efforts against Sovereign and Saren's forces. After this event, many human applicants that had been vetoed previously were now accepted to replenish the ranks, and numerous experienced individuals were promoted into more prominent roles, such as Captain Armando Owen Bailey, who oversaw Zakara Ward's customs division. Applicants wishing to join CSEC usually are required to have previous law enforcement experience, perhaps within their own societies, or a history in military service, though exceptions are made for notable individuals. The potential recruit is then required to have a sponsorship of a noted Citadel official, such as one of the councillors, or an ambassador. Speaking of divisions, CSEC as an organisation is broken up into six. Patrol. This division is responsible for responding to emergencies within the confines of the Serpent Nebula. Rescues, interception and transport, for example. This is the only division to maintain a ship-based presence. Customs. This division is manned by officers who regulate the influx of personnel to the Citadel, confiscate contraband and detain criminals. All disembarking people are required to pass through a security and identification screen detailed enough to read a person's DNA to compare to records. It's even able to detect genetic modification. Enforcement These are the constables who walk the beat, interacting and responding to community infractions, callouts and emergencies. It's these individuals who are most often seen among the people of the station. Most rookies to the force are deployed to the Presidium for its relatively safer environment before being assigned to the wards. Investigation This division, as the name suggests, is responsible for the detective work that brings cases together in the pursuit of justice. E-Crime The entire purpose of the Network Division is to track, negate and solve cybercrime, including the isolation and disposal of illegal AIs, as well as digital thefts. Special Response The responders are the officers kept in reserve and trained for a number of scenarios that the other divisions seldom encounter, like hostage taking, bomb disposal and even a full-on military defence in case of attack. CSEC enjoys a number of perks, such as benefiting from the Council's authority, receiving almost all supplies and requisitions needed to function. Alongside this, the institution is generally respected by the public for its efforts in maintaining order, and therefore usually has its authority respected. Many in CSEC therefore dislike certain entities such as the Spectres, whose jurisdiction outweighs their own and operate beyond the penalties of the security force. Being an institution founded by the Council, they are therefore bound by the will of the Council and although the vast resources at their disposal mean that CSEC is very well funded and equipped, 
Many in the organisation feel that there is an overload of red tape. Procedure needs to be followed to an exacting standard to avoid penalties, and all too frequently, investigations are halted by politics at play behind the scenes. It's common, especially in the ward divisions, that a CSEC officer will bend the rules or forego protocol to retain results. The head of CSEC is the executor, the Nari Palin as of 2183, who has to frequently act as politician to the council and manage all of the divisions. Standard CSEC uniforms are blues of dark navy and lighter tones consisting of a durable fabric, holster, and pocketed trousers. These are adapted to the frame of numerous species, though constant in design within the races. Their weaponry is requisitioned from its own armoury and has contracts with numerous companies, such as Ariaki Technologies, Aldin Labs, and Kassar Fabrications, as well as limited access to Spectre level master gear. They have a number of outfitted Skycars, the common Citadel transport, gunships, and as mentioned, a small number of response craft for space travel. The Citadel's security's two biggest weaknesses are the level of political pull that the Council has over the organisation, and the fact that their jurisdiction ends with the Serpent Nebula, requiring special permissions to operate beyond the mass relay. But its greatest strengths are the level of authority and technology they have when allowed to operate, and the speed at which they respond. CSEC ultimately is a blend of numerous enforcement organisations, all sharing information and equipment, which means there is very little inner conflict over jurisdiction of cases, as all departments work together towards the safety of the Citadel and its citizens, with even hardened cynical law enforcement veterans, such as Captain Bailey, remarking that it's liberating to have such a wide degree of access to information, records and gear, despite the level of paperwork that goes with the job. Thanks for watching this lore video on the Citadel security, and next up are the Spectres, the defence of the Citadel taken to the next level. But of course, I think we can all agree that the best thing to come out of CSEC was Space Bro and or Heartthrob Garrus Vicarian. Now if you'll excuse me, I really should get back to these calibrations. <laughs>